conclusion YouTube video with the title chemistry it's all about you and everything is chemistry chemistry is life there are many process of applying chemistry in everyday life starting from us being in the womb to grown me without us realizing it we are actually applying chemistry in our lives some examples of the application of chemistry in everyday life includes in technology we use mobile phones to communicate and means of payment the mobile phone is coated with the water resistant plastic materials to protect our mobile phone in industry we want to paint the walls of our house of course we need paint that has a cute color and lasts a long time in medicine, when the doctor wants to inject a patient, the doctor cleans the surface area of the patient's skin with a chemical antiseptic. And the process with the most often is breathing. Breathing is the process of inhaling air containing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide from the lungs. A series of inhalations and exhalations cones is one breath. This process is also known as the human respiratory system. Respiration is a burning process of oxygen and glucose in the body's cells with the help of oxygen and enzyme. The process of respiration is divided into two types, namely external respiration and internal respiration. External respiration begins with the inhalation of oxygen from the surrounding environment by the respiratory organs. The oxygen enters through the nose, larynx, pharynx, and reaches the alveoli of the lungs. And then oxygen enters the blood vessels and flows to the heart and the rest of the body. The chemical process that occurs in the binding of oxygen by hemoglobin to produce oxyhemoglobin, reduce hemoglobin, releases hydrogen ions, becomes hemoglobin. Hemoglobin binds oxygen and produces oxyhemoglobin. Chemical process at the same time red blood cells erythrocytes enter the pulmonary capillaries containing carbon dioxide in the form of carbonic ions with the help of enzyme carbonic anhydrase. The carbonic ions become carbon dioxide and water chemical process. There are many factors that affect the diffusion of gases during the respiration process. One of them is the partial pressure of the gas. The partial pressure is the pressure exerted by the gas components in a mixture. The partial pressure of oxygen in the alveoli is higher than in the blood capillaries. So oxygen diffuses from the alveoli to the blood capillaries. Partial pressure can be calculated by the formula. There are many examples of the application of chemistry in the life of the universe. We should always be grateful to God for giving us a special life in this world. In addition, we must continue to learn, learn, and learn, and develop the science of chemistry so the science and technology are increasingly at